Hello, I'm Ron Hotchkiss and welcome to Tech Talk. I am the IEEE Power and Energy Society Surge Protected Devices Committee Vice Chair and the NEMA 5ES Technical Committee Chair. And today's Tech Talk is regarding the NEMA Surge Protected Devices survey results. NEMA, the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, Section 5ES on Low Voltage Surge Protected Devices, recently conducted a survey of maintenance and facilities managers in order to gather data on surge damage that has occurred at their properties. The results of the survey certainly highlight the need for and the benefit of surge protected devices installed in these types of facilities. Here are some of the highlights from the survey regarding the respondents' experience with the impact of surges on their facilities. 19% of respondents reported catastrophic failure or damage of electrical or electronic equipment due to a lightning event or voltage surge. 27% reported premature failure of electrical or electronic equipment. 47% reported unexplained process interruption. 24% reported lockup of computer or industrial process systems. 11% reported insulation failures on electric motors or transformers. And 42% reportedly experienced equipment damage from voltage surges due to lightning or other sources within the past three years. This data supports that the surge environment is indeed active and has a significant impact on facilities. To further emphasize this point, the following data came from the respondents regarding the cost of equipment damage due to surges. 50% reported the cost of damage due to surges to be between $1,000 and $10,000. 22% reported the cost to be between $10,000 and $100,000. And 6% reported the cost to be greater than $100,000. Beyond the actual equipment and repair costs, another important area that was surveyed was the amount of downtime experienced due to damage caused by surge events. 100% of respondents reported that they had downtime due to surge events. 57% reported having downtime up to 12 hours. 25% reported having downtime between 12 and 48 hours. And 18% reported having downtime over 48 hours. Related to the amount of downtime conveyed, the respondents reported the following cost associated with the loss of production. 41% reported losses up to $5,000. 9% reported losses between $5,000 and $10,000. 16% reported losses between $10,000 and $50,000. 6% reported losses between $50,000 and $100,000. And 6% reported losses over $100,000. A very important aspect of the survey was related to damage that may have occurred to safety devices and systems. The results of the survey underscore the role that SPDs fill in preventing damage to and improving the reliability of electrical and safety systems. The respondents were asked if they had experienced damage or function loss of safety-related equipment and systems due to voltage surges. 19% reported damage to smoke detectors. 25% reported damage to fire alarm systems. 34% reported damage to security systems. 22% reported damage to ground fault circuit interrupters. 25% reported damage to emergency lighting. And 16% reported damage to emergency generators or backup power. Further, the survey asked, following one or more of the surge events that resulted in equipment damage at your current place of business, at what point did you purchase surge protection? From that, it was reported that 88% purchased SPDs after the event. From those, 94% were satisfied with the performance of the SPDs installed at their facility. So, the survey results certainly support the fact that the surge environment can have a significant impact on facilities, safety, and operating costs. As shown, the respondents experienced this in many cases. However, as shown, most of the facility managers purchased SPDs to resolve these issues and were satisfied with the performance of the SPDs. The intent of the SPD is to prevent equipment damage and downtime and is a viable solution to the problems presented by the electrical surge environment. Surge protective devices have often been thought of as add-on or ancillary devices. Only recently have engineers and facility managers come to regard these devices as critical components in the design of a complete electrical system. The mitigation of damage to electrical and electronic equipment not only prevents downtime, damage, and loss of safety to life equipment, but it is also achievable through the use of SPDs. 
For more information, please visit our website at www.surgesuppression.com or call us at 888-987-8877. We encourage you to visit surgesuppressionincorporated.com and subscribe to our SSI video channel on YouTube to learn more about surge protect devices from Surge Suppression Incorporated. Thank you for your time and for watching Tech Talk.